All right, so in this video, uh, we're going to multiply two matrices. We'll go through it uh, carefully. So this matrix has dimension 3 by 2. How do you know that? Uh, well, it's rows, 1, 2, 3 rows by 2 columns, 1, 2. So this is a 3 by 2 matrix. It's the number of rows by the number of columns. So 1, 2, 3 rows, 1, 2 columns. This is a 2 by 2 matrix. So when these numbers are the same, uh, that means you can multiply. So yes, we can. And the result is going to be a 3 by 2 matrix. So 3 rows and, and 2 columns. So um, again, this is 3 by 2. This is 2 by 2. When these numbers match, you can multiply it, and the result is always, every single time, 3 by 2. All right, so we'll write the initial answer uh, here. I think we can fit it here, possibly. I'll try. All right, so uh, to find, this is going to, the result is 3 by 2, so it's going to be uh, 3 rows and 2 columns. All right, so to find the entry in the first row, first column, you use the first row, first column. Okay, so it's 1 times 3 plus 2 times negative 1. Let me go over that again, because that's a little funky. So again, we're in the first row, first column, so you use the first row, first column. So you do 1 times 3 plus 2 times negative 1. Boom. Now we're still in the first row, but now we're in the second column. So we use the first row, second column. So 1 times 4 plus... 2 times 2. Right. That makes sense. That's a 2 times 2. So again, first row, second column, first row, second column. Right? First row, second column, 1 times 4 is 2 times 2. Now we're in the second row, first column. So we use the second row, first column. So 3 times 3 plus 4 times negative 1. 3 times 3 plus 4 times negative 1. Whew. Again, we're in the Second row, first column. Second row, first column. Three times three plus four times three. Second row, second column. Second row, second column. Three times four. I'm just going to put 12 this time. Four times two is eight. Right? Three times four is 12. Four times two is eight. Almost done. So this is the third row, first column. So this is the third row, first column. So five times three is 15. One times negative one is negative. And last but not least, we're in the third row, second column, third row, second column. 5 times 4 is 20, plus 1 times 2 is 2. So a really quick recap. So to find this guy, it's first row, first column. So, it's, so basically, to find this first row, is just take the first row and just go down the columns. Boom, 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 boom. That's what you get there, right? So to find this row here, just take the second row and just go down the columns. So boom, 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 boom. Same thing. To find the last row, you take the third row and just go down the columns. Boom, 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 boom. Right? Well, 5 times 3 is 15, 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. 5 times 4 is 20, 1 times 2 is 2. Same deal. Final answer is, this is where we always mess up, 3 minus 2 is 1. <laughs> 4, that's, that's a 2 times 2, so 4 plus 4 is 8. 9 minus 4 is 5. 12 plus 8 is 20, 15 minus 1 is 14, 20 plus 2 is 22. That's it. I hope that made some sense.